welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be starting a haul video. There will probably be multiple segments, but for this part, I'm going to be hauling from Simply Watercolor Co. and The Giving Girl. So let's go ahead and get started. I have been making some purchases lately that I hope will like get me through this season and into the fall and start building up my core um, foil selection, I guess you could say. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at what I got from Simply Color, Simply Watercolor Co. All right, she did send me this little freebie, which I'm sure is in most of them. It's really cute. It's just a couple of little washi strips. That's very cute. And she also put this in here, which are the, her little boxes that are in silver foil, if you can see there. Really, really cute. I love the bow in the center. You get four of those, which is awesome. And then I ordered a couple of kits. So this, I believe, is my first kit. I don't know the names of these kits, but I do know that most of the time, whatever it says on the quote box sometimes is the name. So I'm gonna go with Stay Wild here. I actually purchased this one with the intent to use it with my Rose Colored Days monthly subscription that I got that was all things animal print. This is, again, in gold foil just like that is. Um, I chose the gold foil because of that. I wanted it to be something that I could use. Um, animal print is sometimes specific, so I wanted to make sure I had at least one kit that was going to work really good with it. So here are the boxes. This is really perfect for summertime. Absolutely love it. Here we have our bow headers, we have a um, bow checklist box, the icons, some various boxes, and it looks like maybe washi strips, a couple little bullet points there. I love the way that everything has this little gold thin um, border. Really, really cute. Here are the headers and flags, third boxes, and some washi. Again, the foil is so very pretty. We have today and to do headers. We have the floral washi for the bottom. We have some additional boxes, both round cornered and squared off, which I love. I love, love, love how pale these colors are. It's muted and soft. I really like that. Here we have some checklists, um, a couple of more boxes. This is a weekly box and this is just a bow box, bow check. We have some additional random layering pieces along with some deco, habit trackers, and that sort of thing. Just really impressed. I had never really placed an order with her before. This was my first, and so I'm really pleasantly surprised so far. Okay, and I think this was all, the only other thing I got was this kit here. So this does say Summer Fun. I'm really not sure what the name of the kits are, honestly, but I love the little attention to detail, the little sparkles here and there of all of the different pieces and the way that that full looks. It's really, really well done. So here are our full boxes. This was one of my favorites and one of the things that probably drew me to the kit the most, the watercolor uh, umbrella on the beach, and then of course this floral here and here. I just, I love this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, here we have our checklist page with our layering pieces, deco, uh, sidebar items, like habit trackers and things, um, a bill due. We have just a water watercolor, I'll spit it out in a minute, a watercolor um, looking bottom washi along with our to do and today headers and some functional boxes. It's so, I don't know if it's coming up as pale on, oh, that is, that was a mini kit, I think. I think that was, either that, that might have been a mini kit because I have this one here that's the same size and it's probably a mini kit as well. I didn't realize that I had two more. Okay, this one is gorgeous. I do remember it, but I just didn't remember that that one kit had more pages in it than these apparently do. Um, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I am just a sucker for lemons. Look at these wild blackberries. They're so pretty with the roses and the lemons. Ah, I love the bow on the popsicle so so cute it says recipe one sugar fresh lemons pitcher of water so so cute and here we have bottom washi that's beautiful that is absolutely stunning i love that so much i love 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 this the boxes page that's usually my favorite because i get so much use out of those we have our today and to do headers we have our checklists 
which I like that they're just the short three bow checklists. Layering pieces, deco, habit trackers. Love, love, love. Okay, so I have this kit from her, and then I have this kit, and then I have this kit with the two freebies. And I'm very pleased. I cannot wait to use these and start really hardcore planning in um, both of my planners. So yeah, that's great. Okay, let's go on to the next one. All right, the next one that I have is, I said, The Giving Girl. It came in a really pretty cellophane packaging with um, an invoice inside of it. I went ahead and pulled it apart just to make sure everything was in here, and make sure that my address wasn't anywhere. This is my first time to order from her. I was really pleased with the way that um, it was packaged. It's very attractive and very pleasing to the eye. So she did send me a couple of freebies. I don't think there's any way anybody could know probably how um, addicted to dragonflies that I am, <laughs> but I absolutely love them. She sent me a washi card. It says the giving girl with this little sparkle confetti and dragonfly um, gold there. You can probably see it better like that. Really, really cute. And I will probably put that in my PP weeks. Then she sent these, which are just adorable. I love these in the center. Really, really cute for pulling in some additional foil and or color. Love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through my order and you'll see what I got. I have been trying to build up my collection of usable gold um, foil, silver foil, you know, rose gold, but I wanted some boxes and things that, you know, were a little bit different. I only ordered these little side bows in the gold for now because I did use more gold than anything else. I will eventually pick up these in the other color, but they are stinking adorable. I love these for adding on to just about anything. And uh, it gives you that pop of sparkle. I love this. Love, I love how many you get on the sheet too. That's really cool. Okay, then this is what I purchased. I did start with a bow sampler box. And I thought that this would be the easiest way for me to kind of build some additional things that I can add to my kits and kind of stretch things out um, and add some, you know, like some variety. So these here are her bow box samplers. And this is in the color powder pink. This is the gold foil. And then you have the silver foil, really pretty. And then you have the rose gold. So I did go ahead and buy these in all of the three main foil colors because the whole idea here is trying to, you know, increase what I have to plan with since I've moved over to a more white space planning style. So yeah, I wanted some fun things to use and I wanted to be able to um, stretch these kits out. And I thought these were perfect because I could use these in my Erin Condon or in my PP Weeks. So yeah, there's that in the powder pink. The next one I purchased is in the color cream, and I have the same thing. It's the bow box sampler in the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. They are all gorgeous, but this is this color is cream. It's a it's a, like a a very pale ecru slash blush. It's a a very pretty color, very pretty. This would be what I would consider a neutral. Very very pretty. Then I picked it up in mauve chiffon, and mauve chiffon is very much a pinky purple. It's, yes, I would just call it a pinky purple. It's a, a lavender that you can see a hint of pink in it. But anyway, mauve chiffon, and we have it in gold. Love this. Silver. Oh, I really love it with the silver. That's just sticking pretty. And then we've got it in the rose gold. That's still pretty too. I love that as well. I'm getting get plenty of use out of these boxes, I feel. Okay, this one is almost mauve, and it is a very pale, cool tone pink, in my opinion. So we have gold, so pretty. And we have silver, and we have rose gold. Love these. I cannot wait to start incorporating these into my planner. And here we have sea salt. Sea salt is a gray, but I would call it a blue gray 
the thing about grays is sometimes they will come across as blue and sometimes they're more of just a gray without any other, you know, even yellow. But this is more of a blue tone gray. Sea salt, I guess, is the perfect name for it. It's absolutely beautiful, but we have it in gold, silver, and rose gold. I really love that color on rose gold. Something about that's very appealing. And that's what I purchased from the Giving Girl. Um, I went into her shop with the idea that I just wanted to um, pick up some staples. And it did take a long time for these to come back in and for her to ship out and that sort of thing. Um, it was right at what she, you know, advertises. But it's more than worth it. I'm very, very thrilled. Um, so excited to see my new goodies. And I am gonna go now into the next segment after this. Okay guys, this is the next section and most likely the last segment of this particular haul video. I am waiting on a couple of orders. Um, it's been like four or five weeks and they've still not even shipped. So I'm a little concerned about that. I have messaged um, the shop owners to see what's going on. I'm sure it has something to do with COVID. But anyway, this last section is a small order I placed from Glam Planner. I had purchased a bunch of stuff from Glam Planner. And what I did is um, I purchased a bunch of them, but they come with the double boxes. And I don't have a whole lot going on right now, but there's days and times when I would like to extend the amount of space I have for planning. And so because I have so many full boxes with my um, kit, I chose to go with these double box um, extenders. So basically you put it down, you bend it, you put your stickers here and then it lifts up and you can, uh, you know, have additional space for stickers. I got, I think like, let's see, one, I got six of these. I got six of these. I figured that would get me through the um, kits that I purchased from her because they are sized just right for the double boxes that she includes in her ultimate kits or deluxe kits. I'm not really sure how, um, what, I think it's Lux. Maybe it's Lux. I don't know, but anyway, I needed some of these. And also, um, Kisma and Ass is my absolute favorite character from her. I have a lot of different ones from the, from, you know, like the past. But she came out with Kisma and Ass. She's been absolutely my favorite. I love not only that she's snarky, but I also really, really love that she is, um, she's neutral. So I did go with this one. This is Kiss My Ass, and this is, she's saying, nope. This is sort of like a nod to her, uh, I think it was a Monday um, spread or something like that, but I just absolutely love this. There's so many days when I wake up and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I love that. And then I also got this one. Um, this is Kissmas and, Kissmas and Ass Drunk, and I just think it is so cute. I just love it, and it's still very, um, it's still very neutral to me. Okay, so that's the first part of the order. Then I did want to um, purchase this kit. I, I mean, as soon as she sneaked it, I was like, okay, I gotta have that. We're talking about going to New Orleans. To New Orleans, I'll spit out a minute. And I thought this would be a great kit for that, but regardless, it's just a beautiful kit. So this is her Tiana Princess and a Frog um, nod kit, and I just really loved it. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and start with the full boxes. Um, here we go. We have this beautiful, I mean, look at that, her highlight. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love this. I love the Shrimp Po' Boy. This right here, if you've never been to New Orleans, it is very reminiscent of the French influence with all of the wrought iron and the, um, you know, very detailed architecture. Really great. You have some beignets and hot chocolate, which is really awesome. I just love all of this. I think it's so, so, so pretty. Okay, and then we have our full box checklist. I love the fern slash palm look behind them. I'm not really one that's been using these anymore because I've switched to a more white space plan, but it's still really, really pretty. And here we go with, um, it says Tiana's Palace. 
and you have the little street car. So cute. Look at the colors, guys. The color combinations here are so pretty. Just so pretty. I love this green. It's just beautiful. Love all these boxes. I will probably cut these down to a three or four heart checklist, but I like that I have that option. I have some additional um, glitter headers here with some appointment labels or just squared off boxes, quarter boxes. Here we have all of our really cool, um, our deco and our um, script stickers. I love that she has put a little bit of a touch of the voodoo in there because if you know anything about New Orleans, you know that voodoo and that sort of stuff is a really big part of the culture down there especially for a lot of people that are born and raised and have been there for generations. It's really cool. Love these functional things. Love how she gives you this because I can use any leftovers in my new PP weeks that I have started planning in. Really, really cool. Okay, here we have some washi strips. Um, these are equal size. They're just, they're sort of the size of, best I can tell, because this is one of her newer um, layouts um, or formats, but Pretty sure they're the same size as the quarter boxes and appointment labels here, which I can really appreciate. I love the fact that she's cut this down to just the essentials because, I mean, I just don't use the littles anymore like I used to. Um, I also really like this. She gives you lots of blank little things instead of them being completely specific. Then you don't have to worry about covering anything up or anything like that. And I love the little um, circles um, much better than the large ones the circle icons and more boxes here is your bottom washi date covers oh gosh it's just so stinking pretty okay so you get that and then your extras include this and she said that she realized that not everybody was going to be crazy about the voodoo side of this so she threw this in as an extra which I I like it because I've been there and um, not because, you know, um, I'm into it, but just because it does make me think of New Orleans. So we have those two boxes and then we have this full box right here. I love this. I stinking love this. It's so pretty. And then we have the beautiful glitter headers. And guys, that is my only purchase from Glam Planner. Again, it's that kit, my double box extenders, and then of course, my Kiss My Aunt Ass character stickers. So that's it guys, I'm gonna draw this one to a close. I'm not gonna do another haul video until I've gotten some of these things in. Hopefully they'll be coming soon. I know that everything is really crazy and it looks like we're having another round of where the COVID is just getting worse and worse and we're having these horrible spikes. But I just hope that everyone here is safe and happy and healthy. Um, it is the 4th of July today, so happy Independence Day to my friends that are in the United States. And yeah, I just love y'all and I hope you have a great holiday weekend, but be safe, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.